Good morning, lovies. This is Lucelle, and I am a second year Tokyo Jet from the Philippines. And in today's vlog, I'll be showing you a glimpse of my workday as a Jet ALT. So basically, today I'll be bringing you to my workplace, what I do, and whom I work with. But just to set expectations, please do note that every situation is different. Probably you have heard this um, famous phrase from most of the jets. So let's begin our day by walking to the closest station for my apartment. I normally leave my apartment around 7 a.m. And yeah, it's like a 10 to 15 minute walk. So yes, um, we just arrived. So I know most of the jets are living near their schools, but in my case, I live quite far and it actually takes me 15 minutes to an hour by train. So yeah, I commute um, by train every day. So I don't usually get bored inside a train because I can listen to music or listen to podcasts or watch videos or take naps sometimes if I haven't gotten enough sleep from last night. And oh, by the way, I'm filming this in early November, which is entering winter time. And it's really quite cold. Um, walking in the cold for me is super hard. So I take my time slowly walking to school after arriving at the closest station. And yeah, we finally arrived. It's already 8.30 in the morning, which is our official work schedule. And here at the Genkan, or the entrance of the school building, we take off our outside shoes and change it into school slippers or shoes. In my case, I have my own pair of inside shoes. So right after I clock in, I would directly go to my department, then arrange my things a bit, and immediately grab my weekly tracker. I made this since last year and I truly recommend this to incoming jets to keep track of your activities and in case you have different grade levels to handle, this would help you check everything you've done per class so you would be reminded of what to do next or if there are activities you need to continue in the class. So today I only have two classes, one before lunch and the other after lunch, which means only fourth and fifth period. And since I have a break from first to third, I'll just continue checking some essays. So normally I would ask teachers when exactly they need the papers back. So I would know the time frame, which is super helpful for me not to rush on checking. And means for me, a better quality of assessment also to give me a more relaxed time to write comments on the papers well eventually over time i learned what works best for me and for sure you'll find yours too once you get into working so for those incoming jets need not worry there you'd see me eating yogurt or drink lemon water while checking but if you do the same, please be very careful not to spill anything on the paper to avoid trouble because their students' outfits are super important, so much so that teachers are very careful not to lose any of them. Okay, so my fourth period class will start soon and just to advise you to always be punctual because you know it's one of the Japanese best traits, right? and it's best to arrive to the classroom at least a minute before the class time. Like for example, if my next class is on the third floor, I would normally start walking two to three minutes before the time. My work inside the class varies according to my JTE partner or the Japanese teacher of English and according to the lessons as well. So for example, some teachers would want me to do communication activities for the whole period. Others would want me to just assist like as a pronunciation guide to students. So students will repeat after you or just simply check on their writing if they have writing activity. Like what I'm doing right there, they're actually writing a script for their role play. So I'm helping them write their scripts. 
and voila lunch time i don't usually have time to cook for my lunch so i always buy from a convenience store or from an old lady in front of our school who sells very yummy bento and yeah just so you know most of the public high schools don't have any cafeteria so everyone in school would bring their lunchbox so what we have is just a vending machine for drinks at this time, I'm actually eating faster than usual because our lunch break is only for 40 minutes and I have 5th period class. So we will go now to our 5th period class and after that, I'll be going back to our department to check papers again. Okay, classes are done and there, I'm not actually in our department as promised. I'm in the computer lab because one of my JDEs is training some students there how to speak English in videos because later on they will be having this um, video making. So she just want me to be there in case they need me for some you know, pronunciation and vocabulary check all while I'm checking papers. Being a jet for me is not really that hard. And what I realized throughout my jet journey is that as a jet, um, you have to be really flexible. You know, you have to be always there when the JDEs need you, especially for their English needs. Okay, one of the things that I love about my work desk is it's by the window, so I always get to see the best view and it kind of refreshes my mind every time through the day. Here, I'm turning on my heater because it's super cold. I'm just really so thankful that our school allowed me to bring my own heater. And yes, that's right, it's my own. Now, grabbing some coins to purchase drinks from our school's vending machine. And I love how we can just easily buy drinks because, you know, sometimes I'm just too lazy to go out of the school just to buy drinks in case I forget to bring one. Plus, the prices of these drinks are super cheap, you know, like students' price. Here, you can see our English board. My Kojet and I are both assigned to decorate our English board and we're happy to display these students who got top 3 in our English speaking challenge. And I love how we are allowed to give our feedbacks to them. Okay, so you probably have noticed that I love eating and drinking, well, coffee and water and actually the fridge is right next to me so it's just so uh, easy to grab snacks from it but i love grapes so much and i really love giving these to my jds and some you know japanese colleagues who are not from the english department as you can see she's actually one of my closest friends in school and she's from the physical education department now I got 30 minutes before the end of our working schedule. I basically follow the regular public employees work schedule. So most of us working in the school have same time for clocking in and out. My workplace is super convenient for me. I love how my JDs are very passionate, kind and flexible, especially on dealing with us jets. I would say that I'm super blessed because I got this as my very first job in Japan. And one of the best things for me, I think, is a culture exchange. How I communicate with my Japanese colleagues and how they communicate back to me. I think there's kind of like really good connection between us. And I also love how much my students learn from me in terms of not only English but also Filipino culture and how much I could also learn from them. So this is pretty much my whole day. You see it's getting darker outside because it's winter so daytime gets shorter. Oh, I just can't wait for summer. <laughs> Kidding. But yeah, I really love summer. 
and winter in Japan can get really super super cold. Good thing I am in Tokyo, so it's not as colder as you know those from the north, like Hokkaido, Akita, and some other northern parts in Japan. Okay, so it's finally five, and we're good to go. So let's just arrange some of our things and put our jackets on because you don't want to get cold. By the way, if you have questions or any comments, please don't hesitate to let me know your thoughts by commenting down below. And I'd love to answer those questions. I'd love to know your thoughts. Now let's just put our outside shoes back on and thank God for a lovely, fruitful working time. After work, I love to see some of these flowers, very beautiful flowers and it just gives me kind of like a refreshment after a long day and you know i'm gonna take the train for like 15 minutes to an hour so it would give me like a good vibes so yeah i just arrived at my station i'd go to my favorite cafe to wait for my husband and enjoy a lovely cup of tea or coffee i hope you enjoy this video bye